Well, mass transit may not be LA strong suit, but it's not, right? No. But in downtown LA, you can find an odd little cable car that's been delighting tourists and Angelinos since the early 1900s. Yeah, and tonight's look at this, our Desmond Shaw has the story of Angel's Flight. Well, take a look at this quirky railway. This is Angel's Flight, a downtown LA transit attraction that's as unique to the city as it is short. It's less than 300 feet in length, but climbs about 100 feet vertically, and it connects Hill Street to California Plaza on Bunker Hill. This is what's called a funicular, a cable-driven type of railway where two counterbalanced carriages are attached to the same cable at opposite ends and move synchronously. So as one descends towards Hill Street, the other climbs towards California Plaza. And while this is the only funicular in Los Angeles, that was not always the case. In fact, this isn't even the original location of Angel's Flight although these are their original cars. Their names are Sinai and Olivet. The original opened on New Year's Eve 1901 after only four months of construction. It was just north of here near the 3rd Street Tunnel, connected Hill and Olive Streets. 2,000 people rode it on its first day. It was quite successful. Back then, instead of massive office buildings and museums, Bunker Hill was one of LA's wealthiest neighborhoods. According to the LA Times, Angel's Flight success spread several other funiculars around LA, with one in Playa Vista, a particularly scary one on Mount Washington in 1908 that failed catastrophically a decade later and was not rebuilt. And at one point, there were even a pair of funiculars on Catalina Island. Part of the legendary old Mount Low Railway also used a funicular system. And before the Great Depression, there were some grandiose plans for cable cars to climb to the top of Mount Hollywood at Griffith Park, atop the Verdugos in Glendale. A couple others had been planned, but none of those came to fruition. And all those that were built, well, they no longer survive today. Once the country, and especially Los Angeles, fell in love with cars, rail pretty much disappeared altogether. And that included the Angels Fly, because Los Angeles forced the railway owners to sell it to the city in 1962 with massive urban renewal plans for Bunker Hill, and it was dismantled in 1969. The tracks, cars, all the equipment stored in a warehouse. The city said they would relocate it, but it would take 27 years to see Angel's Flight reborn here. It finally reopened in May of 1996. What took four months to construct the first time took more like four years the second time around, and it has had several other years-long closures after some pretty bad accidents. Tragically, one of those was fatal, but all of the safety issues, well, they seem to have been ironed out at this point. It's been open continuously since 2017. LA's quirkiest railway may not be particularly useful, but it's very cool. Frankly, I think it's an adorable bit of downtown LA history that goes back more than 120 years. Taking a look at this from SkyCal, I'm Desmond Shaw. So cool. We have so much downtown. <laughs> well, if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, write us at look at us, look at this at CBS.com.